Okay, this is question four. It says circle F has a center of five negative three and a radius of three. Which of the following points lie on the circle F? Check all that apply, verify your answers by showing the coordinates satisfy the equation you created. All right, so the idea here is before you can test anything, you need to make the equation of the circle. So you have a center five and negative three, and if you remember, the center of your circle is your H and your K. Right, so it's telling us that H is equal to five and K is equal to negative three. Okay, afterwards it says that your radius is equal to three, so that's your R. Your R is equal to three. And you only need these three things, now you can write the equation of the circle. So I'll write the equation right above over here. So that would be X minus H, which is five, squared plus Y minus K, so I'm gonna say minus negative three, which makes it a plus three, equals R squared, so three squared. Or nine, so I'm just gonna put equals nine. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross off this one. So equals to nine. Now, once you have the equation of the circle, if you wanted to test whether these points lie on the circle, all these points right here are considered your x and your y's. Right, because the x and y in your circle equation represents the edges of your circle. The h and the k is your center and the r over here. So, to test whether this works, we're going to plug in these two numbers, and if they end up equaling 9, then that means it is on the circle. If they don't equal 9, then it's not on the circle. So, if I plug this in, this becomes... So, we'll test the first one out. is, so plug in the x is 5, <coughs> and I'll plug in the y, alright, and then I test these out, 5 minus 5 is 0, and then it's plus 0 plus 3, which is 3 squared, and three squared is the same as nine. All right, so this first point is yes. This point is on the circle because when you plug in the x and y, it equals the same thing as the radius squared. Okay. We can test out our next point doing the same exact thing. Eight goes into here and negative three goes into the y. So this becomes eight minus five squared plus negative three plus three squared equals nine. So we'll see if this pans out. Eight minus five is three squared plus negative three plus negative three is zero. And then right away I can see, well, three squared is nine equals nine. So the second point works as well. And then we can test our last one. Might have to draw write a little small for this one. Eight minus five squared plus, and then I'm plugging in my negative six now for y. Negative six plus three squared equals nine. So from here, I solve this out, and this becomes three squared plus negative three squared equals nine. But three squared is the same as nine. Negative three squared is the same as nine. So nine plus nine equals nine. That's not true. So no for the last point. So we don't check mark that one.